Okay, very good evening, everyone. So I think we are five, six minutes into the video. So start with six minutes, students, because it is supposed to be a quick video. Uh, yeah, so here I'm going to uh, just show you all how to fill in the RTRA exam form. And I hope this makes sense. Uh, I thought this would be the best way to reach out to all of you all in a very quicker way. Uh, especially the students who are looking to get it done. Right. So where is it? Okay. Okay. All right. I think this is good. Okay. So this is the schedule which is available on the website, okay? Uh, on the website of DOT. If you cannot find it, then I'll just show you. I've got it from here, dot.gov.in, Department of Telecom, Government of India. WPC comes under Department of Telecom and Department of Telecom is full for, uh, short for Department of Telecommunication. And, uh, what do we say? We come under Ministry of Communications, Government of India. So it's the hierarchy that you have to remember for your RT exams also for your part two viva. What is WPC? Who is WPC? But more on to that when you're learning or getting trained. So this is the actual website, dot.gov.in. On the website, you get on the homepage. Just press dot.gov.in. You get on the homepage and uh, you can see the series of things that have been announced. Okay, you can click on the read more and see if there is any uh, uh, thing related to your examination. And you see number 19 issued on 14th December, release of RTRA exam schedule 19. For students who have my contact details, you don't have to do all this. You can just tell me, I can send the whole form to you uh, or WhatsApp or email, uh, okay? So there you press here, download. Okay. And when you press on download, you get this. This notice in itself is not just a notice, but it also carries the form in which you have to fill in your data and submit it. So this is the form. And when you'll see this, the form on the first page, you have instructions. I suggest all of you all read the instructions once carefully. Okay. COP stands for Certificate of Proficiency. Your RTRA license is not just a license, but also a Certificate of Proficiency. So if you see, my intent to make this is for those students who want to give the first session. Session 1, New Delhi. Date of commencement of exam, tentative 6th Feb. So we can assume they'll start from 6th to 7th Feb. Applications you can start submitting from today till 30th. 30th should be the day the last day where they receive your hard copies. So it's a form that you have to send offline. Nothing is online apart from the payment of fees. Okay. And uh, students, the payment of fees. Okay. Yeah. The payment of fees is going to be happening online. And I've already made an eight minute short video how to make that payment. Generally, students get very confused thinking how to make the account and where to make the payment. So there is a link to that. Uh, just make sure you check it out, how to pay RTRA fee. It's there in, in the on the channel. Anyway, apart from the fee, everything is hard copy. You have to make sure the date of receiving hard copy if to concert RLO. RLO is Regional Licensing Office. There are many RLOs in the chief cities. At least four RLOs will be there, Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai, and Kolkata. For Hyderabad attempt, also you send it to Chennai or Kolkata. We'll see that. Good thing Delhi has two sessions. One in February and the second in August. Uh, the next session is in Mumbai in March. For that, you can apply from February onwards. So right now, the window is only open for February Delhi attempt. And in my opinion, I think you should try to make your hard copies reach there by 25th, 26th or 27th. Accordingly, you do your speed post and remember whatever I'll show you, you have to send it as a speed post only in that big green envelope following the instructions. They're very particular about it. So what to do, how to fill the form. 
where is the form where to send it first i'll show you the address where to send it the concerned rlo who is the concerned rlo if you're giving exam in delhi your license will be issued from delhi when you will pass i'm hoping you will pass so the payment will go under this account but you will already see that in the payment how to pay the fee if you are stuck somewhere i'll share my number and email or at the end of the video you could just communicate with me directly uh, i'm not doing it uh, the comment things on youtube because a lot of uh, harassing is happening here you know so this is where you have to hard uh, speed post your hard copy this is the address main address for new delhi assistant wireless advisor wpc wing regional licensing office ministry of communication or the regional okay. wireless monitoring headquarters just copy paste this or take a print and stick it there too on the main envelope this is the address where you have to send whatever i'm going to show you so you know how to pay the fee it's there uh, in the in the playlist i'll make sure it is there in the same playlist i made a new playlist aviation intelligence uh, this is the first video i'll make sure i put that uh, payment thing in the playlist so you know how to pay that make sure the fee payment was taught for kolkata so don't choose kolkata people to pay choose this account to pay okay this will be the codes in the drop down anyway more about the fees later if you have any doubt so this is the address right now so let me show you clearly uh, by editing and all so that you know uh, i can mark a few things out uh yeah and that will be better you know so i'm going to highlight a few things for your easy understanding i'm hoping to make a quick video but of course you know when i start explaining things i get into depth so what you could do is you could increase the playback speed right now okay and if you have any background noise please ignore okay a lot of things are happening and any anyway, aviation is busy uh so it's okay get used to that right now uh yeah so okay okay yellow is fine i guess so this is what we are aiming at new delhi mm. and application last date of reaching so i would suggest you courier by 22 23 or 24 courier as in through speed post okay depending upon where you are do not delay than that and consider sundays and public holidays we have to ensure our forms reach them by 29th or 28th okay sometimes it reaches on the uh 31st uh, sorry uh, 31st of Jan uh, december then they might not accept it new delhi so what is your address your address is this where you will send the hard copy and i'll show you what is the hard copy where is it how to fill it and this here is the payment account number you have to choose from the drop down of the particular payment list which is there in the playlist i want you to have the entire document okay you know how to get it from the website if you don't know then i'll just share it with you i'll share my contact details and you can request for the same all right now this is very important that i want every student to read generally we tend to miss out on these things not anymore read it it will help you understand what to do what not to do during the examination okay instructions towards the exam centers and whatever just give it one read always make it a habit of reading all documents associated with your aviation career things okay instructions to be followed with respect to covid and all we are still following protocols you will have to take a declaration also now this page number okay i think uh, this is page number 7 of the pdf digital pdf okay i'll highlight it in red department of telecommunication if someone ever asks what rules or on what rules are these licenses and everything based upon then the actual information is actually mentioned here that people just forget and sometimes these questions are asked to you in your part 2 viva also license to operate wireless telegraphy rules 1954 and these are the rules that guide us but more on it later right now we are just focused on uh, sending the form to for exam these fees are uh, this fees that you see is in case you clear the license examinations then you'll apply for the issue of cpl correction rt license i would suggest you go with this only lifetime 10000 bucks i also have the same 
Okay. But only provided you pass. So right now you don't have to pay this. Your exam fee is just 500 rupees. Right now. Then when you come, you can skip all this. You can read about it later. What are the rules about lifetime and all. Okay. You have to make sure after you clear the exams, you have to send a license application uh, within three months. But that is also secondary because right now our purpose is to learn how to fill the form. So it's my rule to not overlook anything, you know. So now this page number 10 of the PDF. COP1 is the name of your form. They can very well ask these questions to your students. They can very well ask these questions to you. That what form did you fill for the RT exam? In your part to Viva. Okay, students. So remember, you will say, okay, I think there is a lag in the video. You will say it is COP1. What is it? It is COP1, Certificate of Proficiency, is another name for your license. Your license is not just a license to operate, but it is also a Certificate of Proficiency. Okay. Now, you might be feeling, sir, is this the form that I have to fill? So, yes, you can fill this form. You can take a print from this page for your form. So, I see you take a print of the whole notice. And then, these last pages you use for your hard copy application. At the same time, you can get a Xerox and keep a spare copy in case something goes wrong. Considering you are a working student, you know, and you don't have much time to do all these things. And you don't have to get the prints again and again. Now, this an extra one, which is a little blanked out here, is what the form is called. An extra one. Okay. And this is the form you have to fill. So, I'm just going to walk you through how to fill the form. And in case you have any more doubts while filling the form, you can get in touch and I will probably be able to help you. But I cannot guarantee in case I'll be doing some lectures. Okay. So, going ahead, here your roll number will be assigned by them. You don't have to do anything here. Keep it blank. Okay. Here, you have to send it to the Delhi RLO, which we have crossed out in the first part of the document. Okay. So, that's what they are saying. To be filled by the applicant, this is what you have to fill here. So, you will write your name, you will write your position. So, I have my fantasy character. I'll take his name, Sam Nolan, right? Postal address, I could say A123. So, so uh, building and maybe uh, this road, right? Whatever your is, and uh, this city, maybe Mumbai. And pin code, zero, whatever your pin codes are, you know, 88 or whatever. And email address if you have. So, if you just write your phone number also, uh, 999999 And then you can just write your email also, whatever, A, B, C at the rate, uh, whatever, dot com, like this. Then the next thing that you have to fill is Sam Nolan, okay? Don't steal the name, students. <laughs> Center. Uh, of course, New Delhi, you can write over here if you have to. RTR, A, Aero. Aero stands for aeronautical. A stands for aeronautical. You will write full. Part 1 is not for you. Month of examination, you will write February. Details of bank draft. Bank draft is the old method to fill the form. Or the application, exam, uh, fill the fees for the form. Right now, you will get a transaction ID. Transaction ID from the N uh, NTRP portal, whatever the portal is. Uh, remember, it's an 8-minute video I had made on the go. It will be helpful to you to go through. Some people say, sir, should I fill it in blue or black? So, I'll say you fill it in blue or black, but read the instructions if any color ink is mentioned. Generally, I don't think an issue is there. You can do blue. Some students also have a digital version of the form. They say that, sir, can I type things digitally? Yes, you can type things digitally. No problem. Okay. So, here you will write the transaction ID, whatever you will get once you make that 500 payment in your proper RLO section in your NTRP portal to pay the fee. So paying the fee is the only online thing, rest everything is offline. So, this is the form. Next, here nothing. You can just write NTRP. NTRP over here, you can write the date of transaction, the day you are making the fee payment. If it's today, then I'll write today's date, uh, whatever the date is. Okay, 20. 
twelve two zero two two amount I'll write five hundred. That's the fee. If you are appearing for any other examination, no, only RT license. Okay. Then name of the center duly notified. The bank draft and all this you can skip. Here you can write New Delhi if you want, but you don't have to say anything here because you are not doing a DD. You can write NA over here. Okay, not applicable, right, students? And remember, whoever is in rush to understand how to do it, you can, you know, what do we say? Um, uh, you can play back the speed of the video and do it. Now your application actually starts where you have to write things handwritten. Name of the applicant. Name in Hindi if possible. English is fine. Please use capital letters because block letters is mentioned. Name we can write. First name Sam. Surname Nolan. It's a hypothetical name. Full postal address where communications to be sent. This address will be registered where your licenses will be sent to you once you request for the issue after successful uh, completion of the license. So you'll write your address, whatever postal address you had written earlier. Like what was it? Uh, a123 so so building and so on so your complete address make sure it's the address where you want to receive your licenses in future or if they send any other document with generally they're supposed to send you admit cards which they don't send because they just take your id proof and they have a checklist but you need to send a proper address here postal address and home address could be same could be different you know the drill your contact numbers again over here so please write your address here Please write your permanent address here. If it is same as above, then you can write same as above. But I would suggest you just write the same address again or the same as about works if both are the same. Contact number and email, definitely. You will write and your email ID, you will write. Description of applicant, this is very important. This is how they will verify your personality over there. Height, whatever your height is. Six feet, whatever in meters, convert feet into meters, whatever 180, 183, whatever centimeters you get. Color of eyes, you can write black, blue, whatever eye color you have. Color of hair, black, white, gray, blonde, whatever it is. Complexion, whitish, fair, dark, whatever the regular shades are in complexion. I would go for whitish, right? And mark identification, this is one thing that you have to tell them, whatever marks are visible marks on your face generally or maybe somewhere on your forearm or somewhere generally they look for face so for me you see there's some mark over here so i can say a fora a scare on forehead just below hair see if you have any mole or any scars anywhere so i can say a lot of scars on my face but they want one specific thing so see if you have any identification that you mentioned whatever you feel is your identification where they can actually check directly not having to, you know, over all your clothes and take you in a private screening room like that. So I can say, scar. this is what I had filled, scar on forehead, below hair. Okay. Date of birth. There, this, your date of birth and your proof has to be given. Let's say date of birth is 1-1-1990, whatever your date of birth is. This is all hypothetical data. You write it and you need to give an attested copy of your school leaving certificate or your 10th passing certificate which is your matriculation certificate and remember when you are applying you should be 18 years of age okay so with respect to that i would say either have your school leaving certificate or your 10th passing certificate matriculation certificate is your 10th passing certificate as a proof on this proof you'll need to get attestation done now this is a very tricky thing for a lot of students because who can attest it we need a gazette officer so you have to look for any MLAs or any politicians or any special executive officers in the vicinity of where you are who are eligible to attest, make true copies of Xerox documents and check if their designation falls under Gazette. Okay, remember that. So this is one document you have to attach that is matriculation certificate with proper attestation on whatever document you'll get attested outside. Ensure you are also uh, self-attesting all your documents like self-attested your sign and afterwards you can get all documents for final attestation this is where you'll need a couple of days to go out in the field and get attestation done maybe you could ask someone else to get it done for you if it will be possible you know if you're working place of birth with district and straight uh, wherever you have uh, taken birth if in mumbai you'll say mumbai 
district and state maharashtra mah if you write to complete maharashtra over here whatever your state is jaipur rajasthan or himachal or whatever city name of the state from where you belong maharashtra sam lonel sam lonel although australian uh, european in my fantasy but here i will treat him as indian resident over here okay. are you a citizen of india by birth or domicile yes i am assuming that is the case if not then you might have to give that transition certificate that you are not an indian born but you are in india so there is a domicile certificate for that i don't think any of you are considered uh, here so that is good for you if not which of the country you belong let's say you are not indian but you all want to do these exams and you have that uh, pr or whatever you have in india then right europe or whatever it is for you right next you continue father's name address and nationality if father is in heaven last address so here please you will need to be identified by your father for as a background proof you know because consider usage of frequencies is a very sensitive matter so you'll put sam nolan's father will say uh, let's say george nolan or something okay and address i'll say same address as as me of course or as sam of course i'm not sam right and uh, yeah nationality indian so write it carefully full address and nationality indian now particulars of certificate of proficiency if any already held if you don't have any rt license if i'm assuming you are not having it you can say na okay if you have any licenses from the past you can just write a reference of it but do not lie and any educational qualification if you want to show okay see it has to be duly attested by a gazette officer of central or state government so whatever person you are going to go just verify going to go to for a testation verify online if that particular designation comes under gazette if they are gazette if the gazette is a government term then you can get an attestation from there what will happen if you don't do so when they give you the roll call sheet in the roll call sheet in the remark section they will say that we have not we are not satisfied with your copies bring fresh copies on the day of exam so wpc is good in that way that they will not deny your admission if your exam forms fill on time even though if they are incomplete so you'll get another chance but rather to do it right now only carefully i hope you are not confused over here education qualification you can stick to whatever you have done if you have done mba that you are showing then you'll need to get the attestation of mba copy whatever mba certificate you have if it's bsc or bcom you do that if it's just 10 plus 2 then take the 12th certificate as your proof minimum you will need that right if it's just 10th pass and you are 18 then just put 10th pass certificate there and get done with it it should be attested so you'll have two documents to attest any educational qualification if you are using and the one would be matriculation or skill leveling certificate that will be for what uh, your date of birth proof so two documents this this entire form and then you'll also have to send a copy of the fee screenshot of the last page of payment successful this is the transaction id so once you make a payment take a screenshot or a picture and get that print and put that also in part of your hard copies remember that okay and remember to put that transaction id in the place of dd number like i showed earlier now read this declaration very important okay remember the mention of these rules now here you will need a witness it could be a friend or colleague or anyone your neighbor let's say sam nolan is sitting with a friend ramesh so he'll say signature of witness whatever ramesh uh, kapoor name so this is the sign name we'll write in capital letters okay please make sure everything is in capital so just um, yeah i i hope you get it you know like i'm just walking through walking you through everything signature i'd say like whatever signature ramesh you know? and name i will write uh, in capital of course ramesh uh, kapoor and address i will write your witnesses address make sure you use a legit witness but anyone could be a witness you know don't really have to have any government employee to be a witness just write their address so that if somebody wants to prove that you are doing honestly things because it's a sensitive matter so they can go to that witness and write the date also the date when you are getting a signature from the witness i can assume it's the same day for me or maybe tomorrow so i'll write to 1 12 22 place i can write wherever i am okay and here i will put my sign so sam is here doing his sign and sam is also writing his or her name 
and then I will write the date. Uh, I am doing it on 2012, 2022. But I'll say the witness and me both are doing at the same time. So I'll keep the date same. Witness and my and place I will write Mumbai. I enclose the following documents. The checklist is here. Instead of bank draft, you will write NTRP screenshot. Character and nationality certificate is something that you're going to see now. It is there as a part of this form. I'll show you. Domicile, if required, like told. Proof of age, 18 years at the date of commencement. By February, you should be 18 years. So you need your school living certificate or your matriculation certificate, one of the two, duly attested. Photographs, this size passport photo, two photographs. One should be pasted in the space provided in the attendance sheet, page number six. We are going to see that. And one will be enclosed in an envelope and secured to the application form. So in the application form, we'll use a paper clip and put one photo there. One photo will stick here. Make sure your photo size is this. And I think you can use the same photo that you have used for computer number, you know, with white background. And a very important and self-addressed and stamped envelope of this size. Go to any stationery, get this envelope. On this envelope, put your address where you would like to receive messages from them, your postal address, and stick a stamp. On that envelope, put your name. That envelope will be empty. Do not seal it. Generally, they need it so that your attendance sheet or your admit card could be quickly stamped, approved, and put in your envelope and could be quickly posted by them so that you get it quickly. But in real time, you don't really need to have your hard copy of admit card. Many students don't get it. Still, they go to the center. Only thing you'll need is your ID proofs and the sheet of the roll number with your name and number, roll number highlighted. But you have to do this, okay? Otherwise, they might say that you have not done it. Bring it, send it again. So make sure it's self self addressed and stamped envelope, uh, empty envelope, open. Do not seal it of this size, twenty three into ten centimeter. Go to any stationery from where getting your other document, other things. Stick a five rupee stamp, five rupee stamp on it, and put your address with your phone number, and keep it empty and. It will be a part of your other documents. So your documents will have this form and then it will have a national certificate, national and character certificate, which is a part in the form only. It's just there and I will show you your 10th or matriculation or school living certificate and your educational qualification, whatever you're showing, plus screenshot of the NTRP payment. And the last thing would be the self-address envelope. All this you can send in that big green color envelope that we get a threaded envelope and to Delhi RLO like I showed you. So it's Helpful if you get a print of the entire notice. I showed you how to download it. If, if you don't have it, you can request. Here, please make sure you sign. Okay. Now, this is the character and nationality certificate. The way you get a print, the way you can associate. Here, you will need a signature from any one of these three people. So, I think if you get a good person for attestation, the same person should be able to give you a signature on this. Generally, you need someone who knows you. So they want someone who lives in your area or who knows that you live in your area. Now, of course, these big big people, VIPs, they might not know you personally. But if you go to them and tell them, sir, we vote for you and we are in the same city. So we require this for our examinations. So how can we get access and all? Then you will get it. They have given you two to three options who could uh, certify your nationality certificate. If you get a good gazette officer for attestation, this should be good. It's not a big deal. Make sure you get it done. Here, Sri or Srimati, like whatever, you just keep it the way you can write your name. Sam Nolan. You have to fill it. Son of your father's name, like George Nolan. Uh, G-E-O-R-G-E -E over here. And there you can tell them, sir, we have been living here. So we think you can write 10 years. You can do that in their confidence or you can just write whatever they say and whatever 10 years, 20 years and he or she bears a good moral character and is of Indian nationality is what you need to be filled. So I've changed the color here. Earlier it was blue and now black. Didn't realize, but you make sure you're using the same ink. Use blue if you want, not a problem. Here, that person who is doing this signature, probably the same person who's attesting if it's a Gazette officer, they will write the place name. So date, if they don't do it, you'll have to write it. So tell them carefully that they might be in a rush, you know, you know how they are. And then write date, probably you'll get it tomorrow. Like if today you are doing all this, tomorrow you'll go there. 
their signature and their seal. Address and stamp, designation, address, and generally everything is on the stamp. They'll need a signature also. I think your Gazette officer who is attesting should be good enough for you so that you don't have to go to other places. Or an MLA is also fine. If you don't know any MLA, it's a very simple thing. Find out the regional MLA office. Check with them. Check with the security. When will sir be available? I am a student and I need a, uh, what do we say? I need a signature. They will tell you when sir is available because every day they have to come to the office to work, right? They have to do attendance also. Their own attendance. So that is one way. Even if you don't have contacts, you will get someone. Okay. And now I will show you the last part of the form. So now you know this is the character nationality certificate. You don't have to get it from outside anywhere else. This is the part of your form. So you don't have to actually do anything else extra. Then this page, like they say, read here carefully. This is what they are supposed to send you. This page will be posted to the candidate. Therefore, it should be on a separate sheet of paper. It is on a separate sheet of paper. See, it's an individual sheet. Good for us. Here, you don't have to write anything. If you want, you can write your name here. But they have not mentioned. You can skip it. But I'll say you just write your name here nicely. Here, they will assign your center, roll number, date, and time. You will not know it. You will only know it when your roll number sheet comes out. Right? And then, read it carefully, all instructions. Please, 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 please. And write your postal address over here. Same. The address that you have written here. Like A123 and so, so building and whatever I've done, you know. Make sure. This is very important. Next, what is there? This is the attendance sheet. It is also a separate document. Good for us. The one print only we're getting everything automatically from this public notice. Here, you have to fill it. Okay. You can ignore this typing part. You can just fill it nicely in capital letters. Part 1 and 2. New Delhi is what you can write. This is where you have to stick your photo. The signed and dated on the front this is where you stick your photo and do the across sign, right? So, so if this is your photo, then in you will do this across sign and you can just write the date here nicely with a pen. Okay. For office use only, this you don't have to fill. They will fill it. This you have to fill again in block letters. Sam Nolan, uh, whatever your name is, students. Your postal address again, A123, so on. Nicely write everything, okay? Father's name, date of birth, place of birth, nationality, height, complexion, mark. Same thing again and again. No, not applicable over here, you can say. This last 12 number part is not applicable for you. And then your form is done over there. That is it, what you have to send. Here, it will be an extra page for you. Instructions for filling in the application for admission. You can just give it a read to this carefully. They have given you one more addition to who can do the attestation on the nationality certificate. So read it once, read every carefully, open envelope, see keywords. So same thing what I'm doing is instructions also given to you once. Just this is not inquired, required. You will do NTRP transaction number plus a screenshot of the NTRP fee payment. Uh, I'm saying again, the, uh, the instructions to fill, but that is for Kolkata, but I put it, you just choose your Delhi thing and if you're confused you can talk to me about it okay and this you can skip because now the payments are online 500 will be your fee online you can pay through upi and all you will see language and all just read it carefully and uh, this an extra one a is what you can skip this is what you will have to fill once you clear your examinations so this is this so keep this forms handy i'm hoping you all will clear and uh, then you can you just use this form and fill this and you will get your license. Always remember to use lifetime and make a payment of 10,000. Remember, do this. Why? I'll tell you in person. And you'll, but this is not important. So for the exam, this is where we are ending. For the exam, we are ending here. You don't have to send all of the pages. You only have to send the pages which are applicable to you, which starts from this page. Which starts from this page, which is, I think, page number 10 for the digital PDF and 16 for here. You can skip this much part. You'll be like, sir, what to do if this is here? It's okay. No, no, your form is good. Whatever separate sheets you want, you're getting it automatically. Just take two prints. One you keep extra. If you make any mistake, you won't have to run to the print shop again. 
or wherever you are printing presses. So this is how you will fill the form, students. And this form, along with all the documents duly attested, along with a screenshot of the payment, with a open self-addressed 23 by 10 centimeter envelope with a five rupee stamp. All together in that form, you'll stick it nicely, put the Delhi RLO address. This address for hard copy, for payment, this is the selection you will do under NTRP. How to do it? I have shared an on the go video, please. I am sure it will help. It's not a very big short video like other people, but just trying to get the information out there. So this is it for payment. This is it for sending hard copy. Make sure it only has to go through speed post. And this is what we are targeting for. If you want to give any other attempts, remember the dates and follow the same procedure. Just your sending address would change from Delhi to Mumbai and your payment will change from Delhi to Mumbai in case of Mumbai. For Hyderabad, you will be sending your documents to Chennai RLO only. Remember that. And for Chennai also, Chennai. Generally, students giving in Hyderabad, they get confused because Hyderabad doesn't have an RLO. I had a lot of issue in the issue of my license because it was from Hyderabad and I didn't know that Hyderabad doesn't have an RLO. You know, it was so silly. Back then, I hope that doesn't happen with you. So that's it. Along with it, you will have to take a self-declaration for COVID. In the end, you will attach, which is, I think, uh, not there, you know, self-declaration for COVID. Just check the document carefully. Um, I don't think so. They have a self-declaration for COVID. So good for you. Good for you. Just read the uh, instructions carefully. I think they will need you to attach self-declaration for that I don't have COVID. Okay. See, I'll show you that. Uh, see, candidates has to submit a self-declaration as per, per performer given below. But I'm not sure it's not here, you know. Performa. Yeah, I don't know. It's not there. Right? In, the, in the document, it's not there. Let's see carefully. COVID self-declaration, generally, they give as an attachment in the end. Uh, where is it? Mm should be here, you know. Uh... Mm -hmm. I think they're missing a page in this form, students. Just a second, if I could show you. Hold on, okay?
yeah so one minute i'll show you the format for the uh, covid self declaration also it just you don't have to get any covid test done you can just say that i'm sure that i don't have covid is what it is i'll just show you the format i've called for it i'll get it and you are done so i think overall you might think one day two day or three days at max depending upon your schedule to get everything done so considering today is 20th 21st 22nd 23rd 24th is the time you could share send your speed post and hope that it reaches by 28th or 29th so make sure you account for sundays if you think it's not going to reach by then then send it earlier also if it reaches on 31st they might not take it students One second, huh? one second, almost done. For what? One second, okay. So this is it. So students, it's not a part of the latest uh, notification that they have shared, but it has to be. So this is the document that you need. So this is in addition. If you don't have it, just let me know. I will email it to you. Okay. Along with the other form. And of course, Academy students, you will get it. I'll send both the documents to you. Thanks to our intelligent students that, you know, my resources are my students. So see, this is the self-declaration you will need. Here you will write, I, Sam Nolan. Okay. Of course, you know how to fill it. I, Sam Nolan. Make sure you write it clean. Okay? So I was trying to make a fast thing because we're not going to edit anything here. Son or daughter, wherever you are, of your father's name. George Nolan, do you hereby declare that everything is given to you in the last 14 days, whatever? Have I had anything? Yes or no? I don't think so. So I will just not check anything over here. Have you been in close contact? No. So please tick wherever it is applicable to you. Otherwise, leave it blank. So I don't think if you have anything, just mention it so that they take precautions with respect to you. I will say, no, no, no. I'm just going to keep it empty because I'm not feeling anything in the past 14 days. Have I been in close contact at least one meter for more than 15 minutes for anyone who has had COVID? I will say no. So I'll leave it blank. Not been in close contact with any person and I'm not under mandatory quarantine. Yes, this is what you have to tick mark over here. Traveling to the following cities in the last 14 days or countries. Have you gone anywhere? If yes, you just make a mention of it. They would want to track. So here for me in, in Sam Nolan's case, hypothetical, it's not applicable. So we'll leave it blank. The health and well-being of a community is a first priority. Therefore, the center is the right to deny and treat the permises. So one extra form photo you will need here. So earlier we said two, two for application exam form, exam application form. One is here. Okay. Left hand thumb impression, students. Left hand thumb impression. So you need some ink or stamp pad and get thumb impression. Your parent signature. So let's assume Mr. George is doing it. If not George, then the mother, of course. And candidate's parent signature again. So you need mother and father both. So let's say Lily George, Lily Nolan. The above undertaken is to be filled in advance before reaching the center. Except candidate signature, which has to be done in the presence of the coordinator. Okay. That's it. So candidate signature, they will ask you to do it over there. So these are the things that you need students to send via your hard copy along with your matriculation or school living certificate, which has to be attested. You will need your education qualification certificate, whatever you are showing, which has to be attested. Self-addressed open envelope 23 by 10 with your address with a five rupee stamp on it that envelope will be open and of course the self-declaration and a picture of the ntrp receipt whatever transaction you get and make sure you write the transaction number on this download this and you will get it 
And if you want to download the declaration, then you can go into the last year's announcement of the notice schedule on the DOT website and get the same. Otherwise, just uh, email me and I'll send it to you. But that might take some time because we are overworked. But anyway, one way or the other, you will get it. If I get a lot of demand, then I'll make sure I show you a path how to access it from a Google Drive link. I think that will be good. So students, uh, this is the best I could do right now. So I hope this helps y'all. And how to pay the fee. The video is there in the list. I made it for Kolkata students. All you have to do is choose Delhi, Delhi PO from the first couple of pages of your document. Okay. All right. So that's it. I will just tell you how to reach out in case you are looking for some personal attention. Don't spam. And email will be better, but I'm just giving you there are multiple ways to contact iMessage or WhatsApp. As we don't have our app, we are using WhatsApp or iMessage. This is for everyone. Students, you all already know this. Just a few students, you know, who are not in touch regularly. And you can email. Fly with iCats at the rate gmail.com. Okay. Make sure in the subject you write your name and request RTRA forms or whatever your queries. Okay. So that's it, students. I hope it helps. And especially I made this video for our academy students who are going to give exams in February. Uh, so I thought this will be better and quicker. And you can always, uh, you know, because you are busy working, you can always re -go revisit the video and understand what it is. You can always increase the playback speed. Just download the document. It's very easy, okay? Okay. So of course, what... Uh, YouTube comments and all are not there, so you know how to reach out, okay? Just do not spam students. And let's get it done and all the best. Taking your leave, everyone, and make sure you do things carefully.